talk using array we are going to uh, see the implementation uh, array here is list in this case it is list because uh, in python uh, we don't have readily the arrays so we are going to use list but whatever I, uh, it is whether it is list array implementation or linked list implementation we have to go for a class so i'll say stock and here uh, there will be one constructor so self here uh, the important thing uh, to uh, note here is normally when it is array generally what we do is we'll take an array like this so it is suppose if you represent stock is generally represented this way even though uh, we take array this way but uh, it is better to represent stock because it grows in this direction so this is index 0 1 2 3 4 5 now this is array case and there will be size i told you there will be size and there will be top now uh, i'll be uh, pushing item suppose if i say push uh, 25 suppose top is initially uh, as i told you minus one this is general logic i'm telling top should be incremented and 25 is pushed here now top will be zero then suppose if i say push uh, 20 so top is incremented and uh, 20 is pushed there then push 30 so top is incremented and 30 is pushed here this is how we do it but uh, when i take a list in python we don't require size and we don't require top because uh, uh, if you want to push we can say up and if you want to pop we can say pop so append will be keep on adding the items and pop will uh, get the recently added item so these two functions we are using and we don't use any kind of top or size so there is no question of overflow because uh, uh, mostly the uh, python is uh, dynamic and uh, the list grows dynamically uh, normally in case of array we fix the size and uh, when the top is reaching uh, top has reached the uh, maximum uh, element last element then we say it is uh, stock overflow there is no such uh, uh, such thing in python uh, because we are implementing with the help of a list and the list grows dynamically this grows dynamically grows dynamically so if anything in python grows dynamically even if you take integer uh, if you keep on uh, add values or uh, keep on increase the value of uh, uh, a variable it its size grows dynamically so python is a dynamic language where uh, every uh, data grows dynamically every data item grows dynamically and even list grows dynamically there is no fixed size and so normally i have given the algorithm in general case uh, which is uh, normally implemented in uh, any language but uh, in python slightly it is different because uh, we use list uh, there is no array and there is when there is no array no question of size and uh, because the index is automatically uh, created and uh, we can use append to add the item at the end and we can use pop to uh, extract the uh, recently added item so uh, we don't require top we don't require size but if it is normal implementation if it is c implementation then we require top and size because we are doing it in python we don't require this so that that is one important point to note but same thing if you implement in uh, c you can use top and try to write uh, uh, a program in C because you are already familiar with C try to write a program in C uh, to implement stock using array but uh, uh, that uh, you can take it as assignment so I'll uh, write the code here uh, here we require one list which is uh, one list which is uh, stock and uh, so it empty list is created and we don't require top and we don't require size because it grows dynamically now uh, what are the other methods we require push is method we require self and uh, here data to push so that is uh, the thing and uh, here there is uh, normally in case of push we require to check whether uh, stock uh, stock is full or not in python we don't require directly uh, append that data item so you say self dot stock 
successfully this is push next when i take pop so the implementation here is simple so define pop self and uh, it returns the data so we'll say data equals to um, self dot stock dot pop so pop extract the recently added item so return data so this is push and pop operations so this is actually stock stock requires only push and pop and peep is there but normally we don't require push the stock has so many applications where no application uses peep operation they uses push and pop so push and pop are the only two operations that could be that should be added and the other methods should not be added only push and pop that's how the stock should be so this is uh, the stock uh, class we have created the stock class with the help of list now uh, we'll write the menu driven program we'll write the menu driven program here uh, we'll create first uh, a stock simply to change the name i'll say uh, stock or simply say stock equals to stock i'm constructing then i'll uh, uh, write a while loop so here print so menu print option 1 push print option 2 pop option 3 exit so these are the operations and uh, the options so print enter your option so we'll read that option option equals to int uh, input sorry enter your option i'll remove this then uh, if option equals to equals to uh one we have to pop uh, push so to push we read the data so it's a uh, date uh, data equals to int input enter enter data to push so then simply say stock dot push push data so else else if option equals to equals to 2 so data equals to stock dot pop and here uh, we have to check whether list is empty pop we have to check whether list is empty that i think i forget here so if uh, length of uh, stock equals to 0 means nothing is there then uh, we say stock is empty so print stock uh empty self dot sure yeah yeah self yeah correct i'll say self here so stock is empty and uh, nothing is returned here so return nothing 
return none will say so when it is none we say uh, we don't print it so here if data data not equals to none only we have to print so print data is popped from stock so this is the logic and finally else if option equals to equals to 3 break so else will say wrong option print wrong option try again so this is uh, the main so i'll execute this but before that i have to execute that stock class because i have done some modifications so i'll So I'll execute this. Inside constructor, sir, self dot stack. Okay, thank you. Self dot stock. Yeah, I had to execute this. Oh, I did modification, so I had to try to come execute again. Then I'll execute this again. Now I'll call main. So main, so execute this. So push, so I, I'm pushing, uh, when I say one, I'm pushing data to push is suppose uh, 22. So 22 is pushed, 22 pushed into the stock successfully. Now again, I'll push, so 33. Now when I say pop, what do you get now? What should we get? What should we get when we say pop? 33 we have to get. So 33 uh, data is popped from stock. Okay, something, some mistake there. I think I have not used uh, F there. That is the reason why it is not giving. So here F I have to add, then only it is formatted. Otherwise data will be considered as so i'll say three exit i'll execute this again so i'll execute this again so one suppose if i push uh, 55 one if i push 45 one if i push 100 so what uh, I'll uh, pop now, if I pop, what will we get? So 100 we have to get. Yeah, 100 is popped from stock. Now 55, 45 is popped because 55 uh, added first. Then again pop, 55 is popped. Again popped, it should say stock is empty. Stock is empty. So this is how it is executed. Now again, I'll try to push. So 11, I'll try to push. 22 try to push 33 try to push 44 i'll pop everything now so 2 44 should be popped 2 33 is popped 2 22 is popped 2 11 is popped and 2 stock is empty so stock is empty. So this is how the execution happens. And uh, among the uh, data structure related programs, this is the simplest program. So this is how the implementation of stock with the help of array is made. Here uh, we are doing with list and uh, we are uh, making use of the built in facilities of list that is append and pop. So the, because uh, we are using those facilities and stock grows uh, dynamically, uh, there will be a difference uh, in logic compared to the algorithm. 
so algorithm we did slightly different way uh, because we, we it depends on the index now there is no index used and there is no size because the uh, the list grows dynamically so that is about uh, stock using array 